Hey there, fellow travelers. Matt from William Henry, one more time with a peek behind the curtain. And for this week's installment, I wanted to talk about another really cool uh, material from antiquity that we use, which is our fossil brain coral. Where we get it, what it takes to work with it, and why it's so cool. Um, those of you that have been into William Henry for a while, you have seen it. It is extraordinary material. Uh, it is called brain coral because the sort of swirling patterns in certain sections of this coral are reminiscent of a sort of a side view of a human brain. So whether that's romantic or not, that is where the name comes from. And we get this material, this fossil brain coral, which is, by the way, about 100,000 years old from one guy, not a big company, not multiple sources, one guy. His name is Charles Turnage. Uh, he's a great guy. We've known each other for many years, and he is uh, legendary in the knife community for finding and figuring out how to work with these really uh, extraordinary storied exotic materials. So we get our fossil brain coral from Charles. Charles, I'm not sure, he either bought the actual uh, lime pit or the rights to a lime pit, abandoned lime pit, uh, the mineral lime, in the Florida Keys. That lime pit, the, 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 the lime when it was being mined, is an old coral reef that is now part of the land. And what he discovered was that there were uh, intact heads of coral, still or, or big chunks of heads of coral, in this abandoned lime pit. And he figured out how to extract that material, to uh, stabilize it with uh, an acrylic and or epoxy resin, using tinted dyes as it sort of permeates the material to create these wonderful blues and whites and contrasts as the different porosity of the material absorbed these the stabilizing agent at different rates um, and then how to process it so he went through all of that and he has the exclusive on this extraordinary old abandoned lime pit and these partial or complete heads of hundred thousand year old coral that still exist and how to work with that. So that's where we get the stuff. Um, and it's um, for us to be able to work with it, once we get those pieces from him, it's coral and it has been stabilized, but coral isn't the strongest stuff in the world. It's relatively brittle. So if we're making a knife scale or an inlay for a knife or a money clip, um, we flat sand, we, we sort of get it into a rectangular coupon shape. We flat sand one side, very flat, and then we actually laminate a vulcanized fiber backing to that piece of coral um, and that gives us some stability and some rigidity so that we can machine and shape and polish that coral without it wanting to break it along the grain lines um, and then of course once it's in a money clip or onto a knife frame and it's supported by metal it's fine unless you run over it with a truck in which case shame on you um, so the processing is, it took us a while, once we had this material, to even figure out how to work with it. And then, it, ah, let's make some pens. That was a whole other step. And we do make some gorgeous writing instruments featuring this fossil coral. In order to do it, we start with a piece of coral that is six times the volume of what we're going to end up with. It's a big, long rectangle. That's, and then we actually encase that in an epoxy resin in a tube so that we can drill it, center drill that whole piece, without breaking the coral. Once we've been able to center drill it, then we um, set a metal tube down inside to create structural support. And then all of that external epoxy resin and all of that extra coral has to be ground and ground and ground and ground away until we end up with this beautiful pen barrel. So you think, oh, really cool, a fossil coral pen. What it takes us to do it. Um, the learning curve that we've had to go through in order to be able to offer those kinds of these kinds of materials, this particular material, whether it's a knife or a pen or inlaid into a piece of jewelry, it's uh, it hasn't been easy, and that's sort of the challenge we always find is we'll stumble onto or be shown some amazing material, and then it's anywhere from six months to eighteen months of us messing around with it to just figure out can we use this? Does it hold up over time? Um, in a lot of cases, the answer is no. Um, uh, and we, you know, we get sad, we move on. And um, in the case of this material, this extraordinary 100,000-year-old fossil coral from an abandoned lime pit in the Florida Keys through Charles Turnage to our studio, um, we are able to offer what this amazing, beautiful, uh, unique, and storied material in a range of products. So just another little... Uh, 
little bit of insight into uh, the sort of supply chain, the, the global network, and the sort of craft and technology interplay uh, that it takes for us to do what we do at William Henry. And um, thank you so much for enjoying and supporting what we do and taking time uh, out of your week to uh, listen to me ramble a little bit. We'll see you next time. Thank you.